Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Oh, good Lord. Hello, friends. It is me, Trisha. And today is July 6th, 2021. Hope y'all are doing great. I saw this great. I saw this great video from someone just now. Hi, nice to see you. Hello, flying monkey. Hi. Oh, it's so nice to see you all. You know, sometimes you need a little bit of a break. Breaks are good, but no one's gonna put no one's gonna put me in a corner. You can't do this. You can't do that. I'll show you what I can do. I could probably crack walnuts with my cleavage. <laughs> Hi friends, it is me, Trisha. If you are new to my channel, you're new to me as well. It is, it is just an amazing opportunity to be here with you. And I wanted to tell you that I'm grateful and thankful that you're here with me tonight. So you cannot put me in a corner. I don't think so. So lately, things have just been a little bit crazy. If you've just now tuned in, if you are a new follower, if you are a new watcher, I'm just slowly imploding in front of your eyes, supernova like a star. You know, I, I was watching some really great documentaries and one that, thank you so much, Jennifer, one that I've been watching very diligently was the life of Andy Warhol. If those of you who know who Andy Warhol is, he was one of the most prolific artists who have ever walked the face of the earth. And his story from growing up from rags to riches, right now you can't get your hands on a Warhol screen print unless it's like, what, millions of dollars, something like that, an original Andy Warhol. Anyway, so he was a very hardworking, underestimated, uh, very judged artist. And his life started off very difficult. He was very sick and had a lot of things that went on with him. And then his being unique made him special, so special in the end, and no one else is like them. So when they say imitation is a form of flattery, it really is because think about it. There's only one Marilyn Monroe, there's only one Michael Jackson, and there's only one you. There's only one you, and there's only one me, and if anyone wants to be like me, that's awesome. Good for them. But I'm not trying to be like anybody else. I enjoy being me. So today's vlog, today's vlog is called Date Me or Not, Don't Date Me. <sighs> Dating has not been great for me lately. Actually, it hasn't been great for me at all. You know what they say, hi, Sassy, nice to see you. Hi, everyone, nice to see you. One of the things that's really important is to learn your place. Learn your place, where you belong, and what your purpose is, and purpose is doing for others. And I received some messages that there are some people who really like my content, and when it's good content. When I sit here and argue with haters, that's not a good idea. And they're really not haters. They just love me so much that they'd stop doing whatever they were doing to watch me. Oh, think about it. They could be doing anything, but instead they choose to watch me. They choose to watch every little detail about me. I have to be very careful now. since my teeth are such a point of contention. <laughs> well, you know what? I don't mind having big teeth. No, I don't think Freddie Mercury minded either. But they're just saying there are some people who don't have teeth. So I got, I got me some I got me some critics. You know, here's the thing about constructive criticism. Constructive criticism is about picking out something about someone and saying, you know what, you're just not doing it right. This is the way you do it, correct yourself, and give someone else the opportunity to do it. And, and so when people just straight up start bullying you and straight up 
coming after you. What else could you be doing? So I was thinking about one of my favorite. I have not tried this yet. It's called a cream pie. Ooh, it's nice and cold. It's a cream pie. Craft beer. And I really want to see what it's like. Oh, thank you so much, Kim Tackett. Thank you to all of you who've been supporting me. It's been a wild ride this entire time. And I've just been... I've been I've 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 been going through some stuff. I've I've been trying to to change my approach a little bit. I've been trying to change me a little bit, but I I can't change me to the degree of I am who I am. This is who I am and I'm here. And those who want to talk about me, go look and see on my page. I'm not talking about them cuz I don't care about them. So they have to sit and talk about me like I'm I'm super famous, y'all. Think about it. Who do you obsessively stalk every day? Who do you whose live streams do you watch? And you know, I, I've got a fan club. That's exciting. So anyway, dating has been really, really tough for me. I've been having I've I've been having quite the time trying to trying to find that elusive connection that I had a year ago. And it's funny how a year can go by so fast. And it's funny how not only does it go by fast, but it um, it's one of those things where <sighs> it is what it is. Do you like it? Do you love it? Do you need it? Do you want it? Do you have to have it? No, because when you start loving yourself and start doing the things that you love and like to do a relationship, the most important relationship you have to have is with yourself. And when you, when you are content with being alone, not exactly alone, but you know, the, you know, the fun buddies, they're great to have, but when you can really be alone in your existence, alone in your alone, that's great. So usually I like to start my vlog with a joke. I like funny things. And from what I was told, I'm the joke. So I just start out with just being me. Hi there. Nice to see you. So dating has been a challenge. Dating is something that I wouldn't necessarily say is a favorite thing of mine <laughs> but we have to do it anyway that's right jocelyn there is a difference between being alone and being lonely the one thing that i would tell you is if i were married or in a real loving caring committed consistent relationship what i've learned don't be online don't be online talking about other people, spend time with your partner, spend time with your spouse, show them love, spend time with your kids, spend time with your animals. For the most part, I do, but I'm the entertainer. Sean, American Patriot said, oh, I would love to date you. Are you a for real? Are you a for real? Or are you trying to troll somebody? Because the only person with that name I know is not an American patriot. So do I know you? Ah, Whiskey OG is now single. Well, oh well. Uh, let's see. So <laughs> I had been asked, you're free. Okay, I'm sure you are. Um, Let's see, I was given, hmm, I don't know where it went now. Great. All right, so 20 years US Army, does that count as a patriot? Well, we don't have to go into semantics, but I, I believe you. I mean, you have no reason to, 
to not be dishonest about that. Hi, Pebbles. I don't think you're stolen, Valor. Let's see. I'm trying to find something. I should have researched this before, but then I got a threat. Don't you dare go online, Trisha. It was like, what? You mean to tell me? You're going to tell me to stay offline? Oh, you don't pay my internet bill. I have Kim Tackett, Jennifer, and Pebbles, and everyone, hi. Um, let's see. Oh, um, all right. Well, we know that live links like dominates and owns everything. So I don't even know if there is a chat line at all. I didn't even think of this. What is this one? Oh, they're all the same. Let's see. Mm -hmm. If you have any idea of any fun, are you married? Oh, heck no. Do I look it? Do I look married to you? <laughs> Not that looking married is a thing, but it didn't really look good on me. It sure didn't look good on me. Thankfully, we've passed that. I didn't want to catch a husband. I'd rather catch the COVID than that. And I don't want to catch anybody else's husband either. Let's see. Um, all right. I'm taking dating seriously if I'm able to. Welcome to 1 800 Personal. You're blocked from using this service because it's for adults only. And it sounds to us like you're too young to be using it. If you are over 18, please listen carefully. I'm not giving them my driver's license. All right, so I'm pretty much. <laughs> I don't know. Welcome to Red Hot Dateline. You're blocked from using this service because it's for adults only. And it sounds to us like you're too young to be using it. If you are over 18, please listen carefully to the... <laughs> um, let's see, we need to have free... Congratulations, you've reached the premium chat line. It's 712-432-5650. A chat line with no commercials, quick instruction messages, and a way to permanently block people who annoy you. We are so sure you'll enjoy the premium chat line that we're giving you 30 minutes to try it out for free. Call in as many times as you want using up your free 30 minutes. Oh, but every time you call in, you must call in from the same number you're currently calling in from. Otherwise, the premium chat line won't work. If you forget our phone number, it's on our websites, thefreechatline.com or thepremiumchatline.com. By the way, this instruction message you're listening to, it's erased once you become a member for as low as under a penny a minute. Have under. fun. Hello and welcome to 712-432-5650, the premium chat line. If you want to bypass our messages about terms of service, which All you are right. legally bound to, blocking and unblocking numbers and customer yeah. service, dial 7. Oh, now. you get 30 minutes free. For customer okay. service, see our free website, thefreechatline.com. This is not fun. To block your access to this service, call 712-432-4282. To permanently block annoying callers in live chat, dial 5. If you're familiar with our terms of service published on our webpage, thefreechatline.com, press 7 to be legally bound by. The okay. amount of time you have left on your membership is 30 minutes only 30 to minutes? be used over the course of 29 remaining days oh my this god that's all i get main menu 
for conference rooms, dial one. For live one-on-one -on -one chat, dial two. Yeah. For guys, you press one. Ladies, you press two. If you're straight, dial one. <laughs> if you're gay, bi, or on the DL, or lesbian, dial two. <laughs> I'm on the DL, folks. If you're straight, this is the main menu for live chat. In just a moment, you'll record a public message that you want all the other callers to hear. At the tone, start speaking. When done, hit the pound key so I can play it back to you for your approval. This is Alexandra, uh-uh, and I'm looking for someone to chat with. This is Alexandra. I'm sorry, you made a mistake. Let me replay your option. No, replay it. To repeat, it. press one. To re-record, press two. No. To confirm and continue, press three. Your message is now live. To permanently block a caller who is annoying you, dial five <laughs> after the message. Twenty nine minutes. It's taking forever. Exiting live conversations. <gasps> this is the system main menu. For conference rooms, dial one. What I do? For live one on one chat, dial two. Guys, you press one. Ladies, you press two. Did I get kicked out? If you're straight, dial one. Okay, I'll be if straight. This is the main menu for live chat. What I in do? In just a moment, you'll record a public message that you want all the other callers to hear. At the tone, start speaking. When done, hit the pound key so I can play it back to you for your approval. This is Alexandra. Uh, I'm looking for someone to talk to. This is Alexandra. Uh, I'm looking for someone to talk to. To repeat, press one. <laughs> to re-record, press two. To confirm and continue, press three. To get I your guess. message is now live. That's to permanently why block a caller. We get the annoying. twenty-nine minutes. Dial five. After now, the like what? Twenty minutes. Here's the next caller. He's not there. To hear that message again, press one. To respond to this message with a message of your own, press two. To connect to this caller live one on one, Wait, press three. Here. I'm ready to talk. I'm ready to talk. To repeat, press one. To re-record, press two. To confirm and continue, press That's why it takes forever. Your request for a private live one-on-one -on -one connection has been sent. The caller is not in a private conversation and is actually listening to your message right now. Here's the next caller. To hear that message again, not... press one. To respond to this message with a message of your own, press two. To connect to this Record your invitation request at the beep. When done, hit the pound key so I can play it back to you for your approval. Okay, then. Okay, then. To repeat. Your request for a private live one-on-one -on -one connection has been sent. The caller is not in a private conversation and is actually listening this to is your boring message as right now. This is what you have to go through? Excuse me, you have one message from another caller here it is hello sandra uh i have other time and would like to talk to you uh hit me up to hear that i'm message not hitting again, nobody one. To <laughs> i had my shaw shaw kapoor moment of no. your own, press two to connect record your invitation request at the beep when done hit the pound key so i can play it back to you for your approval okay you sexy man thank you <laughs> okay, you sexy man, thank you. To repeat, press one. To re record, press two. To confirm it. This is how it. Your request for a private live one on one connection has been sent. I got some snaps. The caller is not in a private conversation These and is actually balls. listening to your Have message. Have y'all ever tried right now. dots, pretzels? They're real good. Excuse me, you okay. have one message from I another caller. For this. This Here is it funny. is. Hi, my name is James. I'm 31 years old. I don't know if you meant to reach me, but I would love to chat with you. Go ahead. You're connected. When done, hit the pound sign. That's the pound sign. Say hello. Hello. Hey, how are you doing? I'm good. How are you doing? I'm good. 
How good? So what's going on? How good? 64. 64 out of 100 good? Yeah. Great. So what are you doing this fine summer night? Oh, I'm just kicking back. I uh, went to therapy today and kind of relaxing. Well, uh, I'm sorry that you um, had to go through some therapy. I hope you're all right. Oh, yeah, I'm good. Yeah. You know, I really like that therapy. You know, yeah. therapy is a real important thing. It is. And what's your favorite kind of therapy? My favorite therapy is that sexual therapy. I like that I kind of it. therapy where, you know, you get the shebang and bang oh, bang. Yeah. Me too. I like I really that. Like it. I like that shebang and bang bang therapy. Have right. you ever have you ever had the shebang and bang bang? Yes. Can you say it for me? Say shebang for bang, me? bang bang. Say shebang and bang bang. Oh, I'm about seven and a half. No. I said say the shebang a bang bang. I don't understand. Can you repeat what I said? That's a real big turn on for me. If you just say you like the shebang a bang bang. I'd like the shebang a bang bang. Yes. I like the shebang a bang bang. Chester never gave me the shebang a bang bang. Yes, it would be fun to do that with you. It would be very fun to do that with me. Yes. So tell me, do you have a foot fetish? Yes, I do. Are you wearing socks right now? Uh, yes. Could you take one off for me? Uh, yeah. Now, tell me, I want you to put the sock up to your nose and inhale real deeply for me. Okay. I don't... I want you to tell me what it smells like. Oh, it smells so good, I'm sure. Let's see. Oh no, it's got a, a leather uh, smell to it. Are you sure it's leather? Did you sweat in it a little bit? The what? Did you sweat in your socks just a little bit? I want to hear you really inhale just that. A, just, just smell just it. A little bit. Just smell it. I want to hear you give me that real deep smell. It kind of smells uh, a little musky with the uh, hint of the dyed washing powders that I use. Really? What kind of... Do they, do they have like a sulfate in them of some kind? Yeah, there's a... Uh, uh, they're actually the liquid ones. And, you know, they just have a hint. I don't know, it's like a mixture of the smell of my foot. A little bit of sweat. Oh, sweet Moses. Oh, sweet Moses. That must smell amazing. I really want the shebang a bang bang. I want you to I want you to put your sock on your head and, and, and touch your foot with your other hand. I want you to really rub the inside of your foot for me. The arch of my foot? Yes. I want you to I want you to really stroke the arch of your foot like it's 
Oh, that's really turning me on. That's really making me excited. It feels pretty good. Does it feel really good? When's the last yes. when when when's the last time that you uh, washed your feet? Uh, last night when I took a shower. You haven't taken a shower at all today. Not today. What kind of work do you do? I'm retired. Oh, the R word. How old are you? Yep. How old are you? 64. That's the same age 64. I am. I'm 60. Oh, I'm 69. I like the 69. Oh, you are. I, yeah, I do. I love the 69. Yes, I like it too. You know, because having these dentures, it, it really makes it easier to just pop them right out and give those blowies. Dentures. Those those gummy blowies, you know. Pardon me. You know those gummy blowies. Yeah. Ah, do you like those? They're okay. Yeah. That's good to yeah. know. I like to smoke weed, though. You like to smoke weed? You know, yeah. did you hear about the class action lawsuit against Roundup, the weed killer? I swear, I swear that's that should be in the money. People are getting all kinds of cancer from that and like dropping dead and stuff. You, yeah, you should be careful are. with the that's weeds. Crazy. You should be really careful with the weeds. Oh, wait, you're talking about the... Yeah. Oh, you're not smoking that kind of weed. You're smoking the, the, no, the funny smoking. stuff. The good kind. Oh, the good kind. That kind. Oh, that doesn't that make you a little bit soft around the edges? So when you do the shebang a bang bang, it just doesn't kind of happen that way. It kind of flippity flops. No. You know when Chester, you know when Chester used to smoke that stuff. His 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 was like a weeble wobble. It would just flop uh, everywhere well i'm not that way no no it'd be really hard to like wake it up just be like like jello you know it's like kind of chinese like. Or, it's like chinese arithmetic and what's that very hard oh my goodness you better be careful you might need a life alert for that thing if you fall down and you can't get up well, um, I don't have a wife. I'm a bachelor. No, I said you might need a life alert in case you fall down and you can't get oh, up. Yeah. The oh, devil's yeah. lettuce. I, I can get up. Can you get up? Can you keep it up? It, yeah. So where's that sock? Is it still on your head? It's sitting, um... Right here on the couch, mommy. What kind of underwears do you wear? I don't wear underwear. You don't wear underwear? No. Why not? I don't like to wear. I really wanted to hear you smell them too. How about you take off your pants for me? What? Would you take off your pants for me? They're already off. So you're on your couch naked wearing one sock? Yeah. What kind of pants do you wear? I wear short pants all the time. Short pants like um, capris for men? Athletic. Um, Shorts. Athletic. What kind of athletics do you do? Well, I don't do any now, but I used to play football and, um, you know, was. Um, All right, let's cut to the chase. Let's cut there. to the chase. What are you looking for on this line? 
Don't lie to me. Don't lie to me. What are you really looking for Miranda. on this line? How could you be looking for a friend if you're not wearing any pants? What? How could you be looking for a friend if you're sitting on the couch and not wearing any pants? Well, it's like they can't see me. But then how's that a real truthful friendship? Well, I mean, I'm going to call and meet somebody without wearing any pants. Don't you? Does your penis have a lot to say in the matter? Well, it does when it's time to, you know, talk. So you mean to tell me your penis has its own language and wants to talk on the telephone and be like, be my friend? Does it pop up like a jack in the box? Like, wow, well, look at me. How do you know? Yeah, it sure does. How do you know? I don't know. I'm asking. I told you yes. How do you know? What do you do to wind it up? Do what? What do you do to wind it up? To wind it up. If it's a jack in the box, you oh, know, you uh, crank the yank, you crank the yankity thing, and it just. Oh, yeah. Huh? I don't know. I don't know what I do. But, you know, when it's, the mood's right, it just grows. It grows. Does it speak to you a kind of language? Like, does it, like, talk to you? Sometimes. How does it talk to you? Like, hey, look at that girl. How could you know what she looks like if you're talking to her over the telephone line? She could be like, uh, she could look like, um, you know, a beast or something. Like me. I understand that. I so understand then, that. How does your penis communicate to you? If your penis can't see over well, the telephone it, it, line. At certain times. I mean, it just don't do it out of the blue. I mean, All there's got to be a reason for him to do it. The reason for him to do it. So you're sitting there and you're all of a sudden having a conversation with your penis. Like, hey, how are you doing? What do you think she looks like? And it answers you back. Does it say something like feed me well, or something? It goes, I don't, it, it goes, I don't know. It goes, I don't know. Yeah. How do you know? What if, what if it's wrong? I have no idea about that. What if it's wrong? Well, it's just wrong. So then what do you do about it? Do you ignore it? Well, you know, you, you always fight for it. They'll live another day. Um, so you have arguments with your penis you know, a lot? What? Do you argue with your penis a lot? No, I don't argue with my kids. I said, do you argue with your penis? You said you talk to your penis, so do you argue with it? Sometimes. Now, what kind of arguments would you have with your penis? Over the way a girl looks or, you know, uh, it's like, come on, piss, let's go, get on with it. <laughs> He's like, no, I don't want to. Yeah, sometimes it goes, nah, I'm not ready yet. So what really gets it fired up? Oh, nice looking women, um, blowjobs. Well, that's really, really exciting. Um, All right, so get to the point of it. You're looking for a friend and you talk to your penis. You know what? Your penis just told me to put the sock on it to shut it up for a bit. If you're trying to be my friend, you need to put your sock on that and shut it up for a while. Can you oh, do that? Okay. You want to put your sock there? 
Yeah. You just put it, what, what did you just do? I just put my silk sock on my nuts and penis. I didn't say nuts. That's a little nuts to me if you want to talk about that. Well, you know, what do you want to talk about? I think we already did, and I've already passed my capacity of 30 minutes. I can't believe wow. you're playing with your nuts. Sometimes you feel like a nut, and sometimes you don't. Well, you know, I'm super single. I called this line because I'm looking for a real man for a real relationship, and you're just not the one. I'm sorry I'm to have wasted your time. Well, um, you have that. That's all I got. All right. All right. So does that mean you're done talking to me? That means you can argue with your penis. It's just not me. I'm not arguing with it. I don't argue with it. You said you did. No, I don't. Okay. I didn't say I argued with it. All right, then. Well, you can argue with your hand, then. Have a good night. You too. Excuse me, here's a message from someone who wants to talk to you live, one-on-one. -on -one. What's up? To hear that message again, What's press up? 1. To respond to this message with a message, press 2. Uh -oh. Go ahead, you're connected. When done, hit the pound mm -hmm. sign. That's the pound sign. Say hello. Um, hello? Uh, Hi, hello? Uh, hey, hello? how you doing? Um, I'm really great. How are you? Going fantastic. That's so awesome. <laughs> That's so awesome. How was your fourth? My my fourth was great. My fourth was <laughs> really great. Oh really? What it's just really about? hot in here. I need to turn on the air conditioner. I'm a little bit nervous. <laughs> I'm a little bit nervous. It's my first time talking on the chat. Oh, really? Yes, it is. Why are you nervous? Because <laughs> I've never, I've never talked to a guy on the chat line before. Oh, this is the craziest one you could have picked. <laughs> I'm just looking for the shebang a bang bang. You don't know what the shebang a bang bang is? No, what is it? Hit me to it. You have to tell me. The shebang a bang bang. Uh, uh, the shebang a bang bang is, um, it's, um, you know, getting the groove on, you know. Getting your freak on. Yeah, getting your freak on, all of those words. Yeah. So what you like to do? What's your favorite position? My favorite position is in a position of authority. My favorite position is one that has a high aim, that does not lack, that really works hard for the betterment of all people. That's my position. Really? Yes. So what nationality are you? I'd like to say I'm like the United Nations. I'm all nationalities. Oh, really? You one love? I'm what? One love. Yes, one. Well, anything Molly. more Anything more than one well, love Molly. is too much for me. <laughs> I can't afford yeah. it. Do you know how much penicillin well, shots are? They're really expensive. I can't hear you. Your phone was breaking up. I can only afford one love at a time. Do you know how expensive penicillin shots are? No, I don't. 
All right then. Okay. So I suggest one love at a time. Oh yeah. Yeah. How much are they? Oh, I don't know. At least ten dollars. Well, that's it. That's pretty expensive, if you ask me. I mean, if you need it, how many shots? How many shots a week you need? Oh, I don't know. It's just most guys. Oh, dear. Most guys won't take you to anywhere special, and you have to order off the dollar menu at McDonald's. So it's pretty expensive. I'd rather have ten cheeseburgers than dealing with that. Oh really? Yes. Um, how old are you? Old enough to know better. Really? Single like a Pringle, who loves to mingle. Yeah. Hot like a mother. No, Mother Hubbard, I don't have all those kids in my cupboard. I believe in pa Planned Parenthood. Yeah? Yes. Mm. So what's your description? Um, my description is that I am, uh, oh, yes, I am, um, that is such so, therefore, nevertheless, I believe it to be true. So hard to talk, so hard to talk about yourself, huh? Yes. Why? There's nothing really that much yourself? to talk about. Uh, Let's talk about your mother. Let's talk about your ma. I don't know the bitch, but anyway, if you knew her, won't you tell me about her? Because I never met her. You never met your mother? Nah, I never met the bitch, and that's what she is, because she had me and she walked away. She had me in the hospital and came back three days later and named me, and that was it. Okay, we don't no, have to go no, really no, deep into your mother issues. I'm really scared. I've watched a lot of true crime, so you're like a... You're like, never, I've watched a out. lot of true crime, no, and anybody no, with mama no, issues no, like no, that are gonna no, are, are scary. No, because no, you're either narcissistic no, or sociopathic no, or a little bit. Titty. What? I never had titty milk. So what? Oh, so no. Oh, no. I've watched a lot of true crime. And men who have a dysfunctional relationship with their mamas become sociopathic, psychologically impaired. They have well, mommy issues for the rest of their have, life. I don't have. I don't narcissistic. Have, I'm, not I'm very functional. And I'm I, not and I talking know, about your penis. I'm much, talking very about. Much and, very, and a lot about me and a lot about the reasons why it took place. Now, um, as far as me being dysfunctional. No, I mean, we're not getting to the psychological because, evaluations of why you're on this free date line. <sighs> I'm on here for a conversation. I'm here for a conversation too, but I've watched a lot of true crime. And if you have that much anger towards your mother, who you've never even met, I don't, I'm really... have, a, I don't, I don't have any anger towards my mother. I don't have any knowledge. You called her a mother. bitch. I have no recollection. I have no recollection of my mother. Okay, but what I, I'm telling I you is, she'd probably spank your butt right and now I, and say I, you're being very disrespectful to a, a woman. You're not going to give me a chance to talk, then maybe. You might not find the answer, but I, I spent enough time of trying to find out the information and the reasons why. Okay. I'm sorry, your membership has expired. In just a moment, you'll make your selection. If you I'm make not a mistake, buying anyone. All right. Well, oh, Heather is mad. She said, stop this. Uh, let's block her. Let's see. All right. Um, we're trying to find. Let's try. No, we can't do that one. All right. We're just going to go for it. I don't know if we can or not. Hey. You've reached the taboo chat line. Loosen your inhibitions and discover like-minded adults. I don't think so. Ready to connect in wild conversations. If you're a man, press one. 
If you're a woman, press two. I'm a woman. All callers must be 18 years of age. If you are a minor, please hang up now. Listener discretion is advised. We do not pre-screen our callers and assume no liability if you meet someone through our service. If you're not in the local calling area, long-distance charges may apply. For your convenience, you can fast-forward through most prompts by pressing 9. By continuing on the chat Please, line, sir. you agree to our terms and conditions and privacy <laughs> policy, which can be found at www.chatmember.com. Again, that's C-H-A-T-M-E-M-B-E-R.com. Now, record a greeting describing what you'd really like to chat about. Your greeting will be rejected if you ask for phone numbers or include your contact information. You have 60 seconds to record your greeting. Press any button when finished. This is Alexandra, uh, uh, and I'd like to talk to somebody and have a real interesting conversation. To Oops. Your personal greeting has been recorded. Are you drunk again? You will be asked to record your first name, which will be used to identify you on live chat requests. That you have really five good. seconds to record your name. Press any button when finished. Alexandra, uh uh. Kind of tart. Alexandra, uh uh. To accept this recording, press one. To re this re your name has been recorded. Welcome to the main menu. If you already have a chat line ID, press one. To learn more about chat line ID benefits and recording stories, no. Nope. Press two. To continue to live greetings now, press four. Caller greetings. What's up? This is Scott. Just looking for a woman to. Uh... Have a good conversation about anything. Maybe text buddies or cat buddies. Whatever happens, happens. Let's talk. To send a private message to. Looking for you, hot and horny ladies. <laughs> to send a private message to this caller. Hi, this is Scott, 36, calling out of the, uh... I don't want location. Looking to get real freaky. Talk taboo. I'm actually on my daughter naked a lot. I think I should find a different line. Hi, this is Jamie, 46, uh, Brown. I think I'm going to find a different line. Actually... Hmm, let's see. There's got to be more than this. All right, so if you're out there, you need to make a real line where real people can call. A real line, meet local singles, no. No. I don't want an affair, I don't want taboo, I don't want any of those things. Let's try, I don't know if this one will work. This call will be recorded by Google for quality purposes. If you're a man, press 1. No. If you're a woman, press 2. Okay, I'm a woman. All callers must be 18 years of age. If you are a minor, please hang up now. Listener discretion is advised. We do not pre-screen our callers and assume no liability if you meet someone through our service. If you're not in the local calling area, long-distance charges may apply. For your convenience, you can fast-forward through most prompts by pressing 9. By continuing on the chat line, you agree to our terms and conditions and privacy policy, which can be found at www.chatmember.com. Again, that's C-H-A-T-M-E-M-B-E-R.com. Now, record a greeting describing what you'd really like okay, to chat nice. about. Your greeting will be rejected if you ask for phone numbers or include your contact information. You have 60 seconds to record your greeting. <clears throat> Press any button when finished. Hi, my name is Trisha. 
I'm 43 years old, I'm five foot nine, and I have brown eyes. My hobbies are walking my dog on the beach, hanging out with my friends, and I like to paint abstract expressionism. I love the outdoors and I'm looking for a long-term relationship. Hi. To accept your greeting, press one. Be honest. Right? Your personal greeting has been recorded. You will be asked to record your first name, which will be used to identify you on live chat requests. You have five seconds to record your name. Press any button when finished. Trisha. Why not? To accept this recording, press one. Your name has been recorded. Welcome to the main menu. If you already have a chat line ID, press one. To learn more about chat line ID benefits and recording stories, press two. To continue to live greetings now, press four. Caller greetings. Hey, this is Cody. I'm just relaxing at home, looking to talk to a sexy young lady who wants to get down and naughty for her man right now. He's not this even my man right now. I haven't even met him yet. To request a live chat with this caller. No. Press two. No, thank you. To hear the next. Hey, what's up? It's Nick calling from Rock on Ass. Um, any girls that want to chat, just let me know. Thanks. Where is it? Yeah. Hi, ladies. I'm a Caucasian male. I'm divorced. Five foot nine, 200 pounds. Okay. Shaved head, goatee, hazel eyes. I'm considered attractive. I have a great smile. I like dining in, dining out, going to movies. We can I like trips, dining in and eating out. Festivals, concerts, uh, flea markets, throwing something on the grill, I like watching the grill. a good movie, cuddling on the couch. I'm very affectionate. Do you say coloring kids, or cuddling? Cuddle. And uh, if you like pretty much the same, get in touch with me and let's see what we have in common. You never know. Yeah, I'll keep on never knowing. Well, hello there. This is Jenny. Tell that guy is that your ass like strong, looking for someone sexy and fun. Who's out here? Not me. Keep going. I'm an awesome missing white male, looking for couples to a mistress. Um, I even daddy who was willing to um take me in. I don't know. His voice gives me the heebie-jeebies. Hey, it's Nathan. I'm uh, 60, white guy, handsome, athletic belt, uh, nice, uh, Ted Bundy! Looking cock that I'm playing with right now. If you would like to join me and my sweet hazel eyes, for my cute. Sure, your sweet hazel eyes like, and your big, yeah, uh, I'm really looking in your eyes while I'm, I'm doing me. that, right. To send a private message to How the caller. The your sweet so, hazel eyes. Your eyes are all the way up there. To send a private message to this caller. <laughs> I need a hearing aid or something. Sure, your nice hazel eyes. Let me notice. Oh. Hi, my name is Nate. I've been meeting you yesterday. To send a private message to this caller. What's up, this is Scott. Just looking for a woman to uh, have a good conversation about anything. Did we just hear him? Maybe. Thanks. So. Buddies or cat buddies? That's it? That's all I have to oh, choose from? Oh, uh, this sucks. Hi, this is Jamie, 46, uh, Brown. Laying here on my bed, hard. The talk to stroke, I never really need some help coming. Keep it, uh, keep going. Talk me. Don't talk dirty to me. Let me shoot this load all over you. Ew! I'm looking for a date! Not hey, an ST. Hey, looking for the naughty, nasty girls online? Into the taboo forbidden, no limits. No, I called it date line. To send a private message to this caller. I want a date. Hey there, I'm Anthony. Let's chat. Have yeah. a little bit of fun. I'm outgoing. Yeah. Five nine, nice belt, 
Let's chat. Let's see where it goes. To send a private to send a private message to this caller. Hello, this is Jeremy online. Twenty-eight year old guy, just oh, home alone yeah. and married. Just feeling really horny tonight. Stroke this eight. You know. You know. Let me look in those hazel uh, eyes. I just came on to see you so on and I would like to chat. Come say hi. Hi. I don't think so. To send a private Kidding. message to this caller. I'm single, but I'm not desperate. To request a live chat with this caller, press 2. To hear the next greeting, press Hey, baby. I want to take and lick you in your crypt all the way to your asshole. Ew, what the mm. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> What the fuck? To send a private message to this caller. Where's the real minute? To send a private message to this caller, press one. That's right. To shine, request yeah. a live chat with this caller. Hello. My name is Paul in San Antonio. Oh. I'm looking for a woman who enjoys the water. I enjoy the water. Especially in the pool or hot tub or jacuzzi bubble bath. Jacuzzi bubble bath. Oh, very youthful looking. 69 year old, divorced, uh -huh. retired, Caucasian male. Divorced, retired, I've Caucasian seven, male. 68, brown hair, hazel eyes. <laughs> I work out so I stay in shape. Really Drug fresh. disease, drama free, twice divorced, never had children. I don't twice smoke. Twice divorced. I enjoy adult you lost everything twice. And I used to travel internationally for a living when I was working, but I'm retired now. I do have many other interests and a couple of very neat tastes. Give me a call. We'll get wet and have some fun. Well, that's very hard. He's all the way in San Antonio. Oh, good afternoon. Just I'm a little here. bored, so I thought I'd get on the chat line and see who's around and maybe find somebody fun to chat with. Is back or a noise? To send a private message to this caller. Hello, this is Trevor. I am calling from South Atlanta. Looking for someone to chat with. I am six foot, 200 pounds. Medium build. I have tattoos on my arms. Um, like I said, I'm just kind of bored tonight, getting home from work. Aww. And looking to chat. He sounds like somebody nice. Hey, ladies. This is Greg. Hi, sick. Hi, Greg. Uh, Hi, Greg. Brown hair, brown eyes, weigh about one. Oh, you sound really awesome. In shape. Yeah. Just looking for a nice, oh. honest gal. Yeah, I'm Just honest as honest can be. And a little naughty fun. All right, I need to find something else. I need to find something else. Hold on one second. Don't go anywhere if you need to get your drinky drink, if you need to get a little snacky snack. I want to try to find something else. Let's see. Let's see. <sighs> I have to see what called my number. Welcome to Verizon Wireless. Your call cannot be completed as it. Nope. That's so funny, though.
Welcome to Verizon. Nope. Welcome to Verizon. That is so weird. I guess not. Hmm. I won't have lots of fun without y'all. Okay, I think I got it. I think. Hmm. The number you have reached is no longer in service. Oh, man. I wanted that life alert. Oh my gosh, this is funny. Oh man, why you gotta be busy for? Never busy. I'll find one. Find one. Not complete your call. I guess they're all they're all old. Welcome to Verizon Wireless. Mm -mm. That's so strange. Hello? Uh, hi, my name is Sebastian. I was calling you from the Yogi Mandate. How are you today? <laughs> You're calling me from what? From ELD Mandate. What is and all was regarding what electronic logbook for a truck. And I believe you got a trucking business. How did you know I had a trucking business? I've been trying to hide it for a really long time. Oh, is that you? Of course it's me. You called me on this number. Okay, so are you looking for an ELD for your truck? 
well, you said that you found me and I was trying to hide this business from, you know, people trying to take my money. No problem. Make sure I will lose out your number and no one will give you a call by phone. No, call. please do. I want to talk to you. Don't hang up on me. Um, and I swear this is a business call. I like you. I like you. Thank you for that. I like Thank you. you. What? Well, where are you? I'm in California, customized Red Hill Avenue. You're in California. Yeah, Red Hill Avenue. You don't have any what? You don't have any what? I said that I'm in Castlemas, California, at Red Hill Avenue. Oh, on that avenue. Oh, okay. Are you single? Probably, yes. Do you have any kids? Do you pay child support and alimony? I'm just 20 years old. You're just what? I'm just 20 years old. Oh, you're just 20. Well, don't you dare get married. And don't have any kids, because then your ex-wife will take everything that you have. I don't understand. Thank you for the advice, man. It's really important. You know that, right? Yeah. And by the way, ma'am, this is your direct line number? This is the best line to reach me. Yeah. Do you use WhatsApp, Instagram? Um, I, I use a lot of Instagram. And what about WhatsApp? Do you, are you in WhatsApp? Am I a what? The WhatsApp? Oh, uh, no, I don't use WhatsApp. So what's the name on Instagram? It's an unknown name. Sorry? It's Un you and unknown, unknown? unknown name. Unknown name. Uh-huh. Like unknown underscore name or just unknown name? Unknown name. You don't know me. That's why I'm asking you, can I know your name? You don't know my name. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. It's no, ma'am. It's no, ma'am, right? Yeah. Call him up. Thank you for your time, ma'am. Have a great day, ma'am. You bye. too. Bye-bye. <laughs> I have to find another dateline. <laughs> oh, come on. Where's the good one? I'm not prank calling anybody. It's a, um, it's a list. It's a list of um, numbers to call back. I'm just calling back numbers that have called me. Welcome to Verizon Wireless. Ah, uh, but they all. Thank you for calling Lacrosse Unlimited Web Sales. A dedicated online sales representative will be with you shortly to assist with your order. You may wait on the line or press the know who this to was. a detailed message with your name, number, and order number, and we return your what call. What kind of order is possible. this? They called Thank me. You. I don't want that. Your call has been forwarded to it. <laughs> that was the wrong one. 
I think I know that person. Sandra, uh, uh, uh. Anyway, this is really good. Just don't drink it too fast. It tastes like dessert. Please leave your message for. Okay, that wasn't it. All right, I'll try it one last time. I need to find the number another. that you have dialed is not in service. Okay. No more dating. No more dating. Maybe I should open up my, remember when I had that one grievance line? If you had a problem, call 1-800-whatever. Do you guys remember that? What is the five line? Hmm. What was the five line? Welcome to Vibe Line. You're blocked ah. using this service because it's for adults only. <laughs> and it sounds to us like you're too young to be using it. If you are over 18, please listen. All right, the Vibe Line I can't do. I'm over 18. Oh my gosh, that's really funny, actually. Um, I think we did that. That, okay. Well... I had a lot of fun and I don't know. I don't know what to say. Should I, what, what do you think I should do now? Oh, I definitely not do that. Um, I think it was the, I think it was, or was it? Which one was it? Hold on. Was it the red hot date line? That was it. Can't do that one. Ugh. What do I do now? Um, all right. Well, it's funny if somebody has to steal your content because it means they don't have talent. Not to say that I have talent, but it's just kind of funny. That's all. Did, was I able to do this one? I didn't get kicked off of all of them. I don't think I got kicked off of all of them, have I? Thank you for calling. Press two to continue. Oh, I think this one, you have to have like a, a thing. Welcome to 888 Megamates, Raleigh, yeah. Durham. Please oh. key in your mailbox uh -oh. number now. Yep, yeah, you have to have the mailbox. Mm. Well, I'm not going to send my ID to say that I'm over 18. Mm hmm.
Hmm. Let's try this one. Welcome to the conference call. Please enter your access code or PIN followed by the pound sign. That wasn't it. I guess not. It's supposed to be burr. Well, that's not it. Let's try this. Welcome to the conference call. Please enter your ex Nope. I guess not, guys. I'm such a failure tonight. I didn't get to do all of my... I, I um... Either I have to send... Uh... I just want to know. Um, let's see. Oh, I don't know. How's it work? Welcome to the National Do Not Call Registry. For English, press 1 now. <gasps> oh, I don't want that one. Where is it? That's not what I want. Hold on. Why is it they call me all the time? This is it. All right, I've got... I'd like to do this. Thank you for calling our border bowl. This call may be monitored and recorded for quality control purposes. Thanks for holding. We appreciate your time and patience. Please stay on the line. And we'll I'm very interested. Affordable word. How can I help you? Hello there. How are you this evening? Hi. Hi. Good. How can I help you today? I would like some information about one of your best single woman getaway packages. Uh, going to which which destination, please? Do you have any suggestions? We have a tour going to Greece, Maldives. Oh. Yes. Where else? Yes. I'm sorry. 
Hello? Hello. Where else can I go to besides Greece and the Maldives? Yeah, what is the question about those two countries? Well, tell me more. Where else can I expand my horizons to visit the world? We have multiple um, itinerary. So if you look at the website, we have 10 days and night going to uh, Greece. Also, we have my dives for five nights or seven nights. Can you tell me a little bit what's in Greece? Like the, the musical? Greece, going to... Tell me more, tell me more, tell me more. You know? Okay, the Greece, we going to 10 days a night. So you will spend uh, three nights on the Athens, two nights Mykonos, and the three nights Santorini. Oh, what do you do there? What do you do there? It's just to travel. Like what to can travel. I see? Um, <laughs> yes. Yeah. Can I take lots of pictures? You can look at our website so you can see the day by day itinerary very detail. Okay, where else can I go if that's not the place I choose to go to? I'm sorry? Where else can I go to if I choose not to go there? Yeah, I'm not going to where? I don't know if I want to go to Greece. I have some really bad acid reflux and Greece kind of scares me. The Greek, we have the another place, so we also have the Bali, Maldives. So it depends on when are you going to travel. Hmm. When are you going to travel? Well, I get Chester's life insurance money in probably a month or so, and my passport will be good within a year, two years. Actually, I how much is it for that trip? It depends on which month and depends on the flight. Which Let's is the, which say is the like to two years from now, May 2023. We don't have 2023. We have the date leaving this year or next year. All right. Let's just say next year. Which destination you like to be interested in? I'm interested in both. I'm sorry, I don't, I'm not sure how to answer the question because so How much would it be for the whole shebang a bang bang I want it all? I'm sorry? How much for it all I want to go to Greece and Maldives? The Greece depends on which city you're living from I would Which say San Francisco, from? California. Los Angeles. Los okay. Angeles. Which month do you like to go? Which date? Let's say October 2022. October. Okay, let me check October. Um. We don't have October next year. We have um, October this year. Oh, no. Well, my passport's up to date. You know, I can get a little bit of, it's just, you know, that interest rate on those funeral bonds, I'm going to lose 10%. What can you give me in comps if I do it this year? So average price will be 2000 per person for all of it 2000 per person for all of it what all of it the I'm sorry, flight man, i i don't understand so the pricing is over 2000 per person living from los angeles if you share one one person or you want to go by yourself I go by myself, but you're telling me it's only $2,000 to leave from Los Angeles to go to Greece and the Maldives and the whole thing is only $2,000? No, only going to Greece 10 days a night. 
10 days and eight nights? Yes. Wouldn't that be nine days, nine nights and 10 days? How is it? Where'd you move? Where'd you lose the night? And it's not a losing night because it's on the flight. The departure date, the oh. day one, and the time difference. That's you really know the cheap. Time difference. Okay, okay. Now, is all the food included? Includes the round trip of flight, a nice hotel, transportation. The breakfast at the hotel. Only the breakfast? Yes, the mm. breakfast at the hotel. Do they, and what the kind of, you know, what kind of flight do they have? Do they give you those little packages of the salted nuts during the flight? The flight you know, depends on which airline you book. Well, what kind of airline would you book for me? We're using the American Airways. We're using the the Qatar Airways. Ah, so I want the one. Can you specifically find out for me which airline gives you the bag of nuts? You can choose in the airline when you book online. Oh, so I have to book my own flight. You have to choose in the airline oh. when you do it online. This is the online company. You have oh. to choose in which which date and which the city you live in from. Oh. So we have multiple dates. This is a group tour. You can choose in what date you like to live in. For oh. example, you have October, November, December. Mm. Which date you like to travel? I really like that. Does it? And what's the weather like in Greece at that time of year? Is it cold? Do I have October, to pack? This? No, October is um, the cooler day. It's I not see. like summer. So October is nice to go. November will be a little bit of cold. Oh. So let me ask you this question. Will they have this the year after as well? Sorry? Will they have this same thing a year after as well? It's the same thing for each year monthly. I so really, really like which it. Which month they like to go? I really, really like it. Well, I have your website okay, if here. If you're interested, you can go to our website, yes. affordableworld.com. Make a reservation. Thank you very much. I'm going to do that, and I'm going to tell all of my friends to go on a vacation with your Thank company. You. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Bye-bye. I really, it's only $200 to book. Well, I can't go for two years, but I could, well, I can't really save that, but, well, to dream a little dream. Anyway, um, well, thank you guys for tuning in and watching and whatever, just whatever. <laughs> Um, I thought I'd have like a fun night tonight. Unfortunately, you know, I, I wonder what the hotel would be like too, Mr. Hardcore. How many chaperones? You need Chester's money. I know, right? I don't know what to do, but I'll make it. So I'll be just fine. But anyway, I just really wanted to thank you guys. I appreciate you being here and I appreciate those who steal my content. I'd be, I'd be, I would, you know, I, I don't know what I do without you guys because without me, they have no content. They don't talk about themselves. They don't do anything else. All they do is talk about me. Marisol says, can I call you? Um, I'm not doing the grievance line tonight. I don't think I should do that tonight. Um, but maybe another night I'll do a grievance line. Christina says, Trisha, I'm Greek. I didn't know you were interested in going to Greece. Well, I go to Japan. I go to, I love Japan because I love sushi. I would go, I go to Russia. I go anywhere, but I can't for two years. 
I'm, I'm in a committed relationship with the state of North Carolina. And it's just how it is. Yeah, I know. Mr. Hardcore, you're pretty brave. I mean, obviously, since it's me typing as you, you as me. Oh, <laughs> I saw your adult content and came here. Oh, my gosh. So I don't mind it. If my channel, like, I do believe in charity. And if this face and talking about me all the time makes them money, good for them. I feel bad for their husbands. I feel bad for their families. But I believe in charity. And I believe in giving. And I was thinking, you know what, tonight I could have been like doing some other stuff, but I thought, you know what, I need to go online and I need to give them more content because they can only talk about the same stuff for so long. Did you see Trisha's horse teeth? Did you see Trisha's hair? Oh no. You know, but a good rest does that. So I have to go, but I just want to tell you guys that I love you very, very much. And I thank you. I thank you because if it weren't for you, there'd be no me. And every day, every day is a new day. Every day is a new day to get stronger. And it's not about dating. <laughs> Boy, it's, it's not about dating. It's not about any of those things. It's about getting in touch with yourself, loving yourself, knowing yourself, then you can know somebody else. I'm just not good at knowing other people right now, I don't think. But I'm not ashamed of who I am, where I've come from, and all of this stuff has made me a much stronger person. I'm grateful for my heartbreak. A year ago, I met someone really special, and I'm not the same woman who I was a year ago, and I don't think I'd want to be. The woman who I am now, I feel real good about. And those who want to continue to hate, go on and, and hate and love yourself. Because when you're really unhappy with yourself, it shows we all are ugly from the inside out. And we start loving and we start caring, we start giving and we start sharing. That's what makes us better. Picking on others, that's not okay. And People continue to do that, and that's just really sad when you know that that's not the way to be. So move forward, we move on, and we, we become our best selves. So thank you for tuning in. My name is Trisha. I'm 43 years old. I'm five foot nine, and I love long walks on the beach with my dog. If there's someone out there who would want to date someone like me, male or female, I'm open to ideas. <laughs> you can email me at xotrisha2017 at gmail.com. Send me a real picture and a bio of who you are. And maybe we'll have another date me or not. And I will go through who wants to date me. <laughs> oh, I love you guys so, so much. Thank you for tuning in, watching, and subscribing. And thank you for letting me about be a part of your world. Great big hugs, great big kisses, and a big shout out to German in Venice. Oh, I really like him. If those of you who have not seen his channel, I think he's amazing. German in Venice. I made a little video, and I think it's kind of funny, and I'll play it for you. I would date him. It's not about being tall, dark, and handsome, and all of those things. It's about personality and attitude, and, and I sure love him. I think it's great. Uh oh. Okay. Hi, my name is Mike. I'm 53 years old. I'm 5'11. I got two eyes. Ooh. My hobbies are long walks on the beach. I like to look at my aquarium and I also collect stamps. And I'm looking for a long term relationship. Wow. Nah, I'm just joking. Ah. Uh. Hi, I'm Trisha. I'm 43 years old. I'm five foot nine. I have brown eyes and I love long walks on the beach too with my dog. I also love craft beer. I love everything outdoors. And I'm also looking for a long-term relationship. So if you want to heal my heart, Mike, I love your channel. German in Venice is one of my favorite, favorite, favorite channels. And if you really are single and looking 
I'm single and looking to, we could totally heal each other's hearts because right now, now is the time that we find that love. I'm searching for you, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder, what do y'all think? I just think he's amazing. Uh, I always, so if I need an up, <clears throat> If I need an uplift, I'll watch his channel. If I need to watch something to fall asleep, I'll watch his channel. And I just think he's great. But anyway, um, yeah, so if you want to date me, exotrisha2017 at gmail.com. You don't need to be on OkCupid. Okay you don't need to be on any of those other things. <laughs> you can just find me here because I am YouTube infamous. I don't have a whole lot of money, though. That's the only thing. And... I do have a lot of ambition, just not a lot of money. You just got to love me for me <laughs> and my affinity for craft beer. All right, guys. Thanks for tuning in, watching, and subscribing. I love you all so much, and I will see you again soon. Thank you, Mr. Hardcore. Thank you, Hev. Thank you to all those who watch me. I love you, and I'll see you again real soon. Until next time, bye for now. I love you.